Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Madison. I am a first year, second grade teacher, and today is classroom setup day five. I'm so excited. I actually haven't been in the classroom all week. I had plans to go in, but I ended up just doing other things and I have a second job so I was working a lot this week and I actually work today so I'll only have about three hours in my classroom but I don't have a ton to do so I have a few things on my to-do list and let's go knock them out. I made it to my classroom um, by the way I got a new camera I am not filming on my phone anymore so it's all gonna come with a learning curve it's my first camera I've ever had so hopefully the video quality is a little bit better but yeah just bear with me as I try to find my angles and try to work with this thing but anyway I'm here I've been here all week so it's really nice to be back um, so far I've just been kind of putting some things away and I think the first thing I'm going to do is open up my Michael's photo storage thing that I bought. I don't even remember what it's called, but you guys will know what I'm talking about in a second. This thing right here. <laughs> um, I got this when it was on sale. At Michael's I'm pretty sure I got this for like under $15 and usually they're like $40 so definitely keep in sorry I'm like not even afraid so definitely keep an eye out um, for when there are sales on Michael's because this will come in handy I plan on using this for task cards this year I uh, went on TPT whenever they had their 4th of July sale and I snagged a bunch of task cards um, and I'm planning on using a lot of them for like early finisher activities. So I thought this would be a really good place to keep them this year. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited. I still don't know where I'm going to store this for now. I'm just going to put it on the floor by my desk, but I'm not sure. I'll probably have it in a cabinet somewhere. Um, and then once the school year starts, I'll figure out the best way to access it or have the kids be able to access it. By the way, thank you so much for all the love on my first few videos. I am overwhelmed by the amount of people that have been watching my videos and commenting. And if you're watching this, thank you so much. I see every single one of your comments and I really try to reply to all of them. And if I haven't gotten to yours, feel free to DM me on Instagram. My Instagram is linked down below and I can answer any questions that you guys have. I forgot to say, the first thing that I did when I came in here was <laughs> put up the rest of this eucalyptus border. If you guys saw, I'm pretty sure it was my classroom setup vlog day one. I went all the way around and I literally ran out of my eucalyptus like right here. So I added that little sliver and now this bulletin board is pretty much complete. I actually printed out some papers that I want to put in here. I'll show you guys. I printed out a bunch of these Our Brightest Work Coming Soon signs. I just got these. They were a free download off of TPT, and I, if I find who I downloaded them from, I'll leave them down below. I thought they were super cute, and so I'm just going to put a bunch of these up on there so that the kiddos know this is where their work is going to go.
so I think I'm just gonna keep it like that for now. I don't know the amount of students I'm going to have this year, but I'm pretty sure we're going back hybrid, which means I'll only have maybe 10 kids at a time. Um, total, I think like the most I would have is 17 or 18, um, but this will definitely do for now. Obviously, I can adjust it as the year goes on. Something I'm really excited for are my curtains. <laughs> I just put up some curtain rods and I just bought some curtains. So I don't have the rings to like hook the curtains, but I'll show you kind of like the vibe I'm going for. So you guys know this is my window area. So I have a rod right there that you can see. And then I just have these sheer white curtains that I'm planning on using. So it's kind of hard to see, but they're just white and they're kind of sheer, so it's not like it'll block too much sun. You can still see through them. Um, so yeah, they're medium length, so they'll hang just to the bottom of the window, and I think they'll be so cute. Okay, I think what I'm going to tackle next is all my, all my curriculum. So it was, if you've been watching, you know that it's been sitting there for a couple weeks now. So. I'm just going to tackle it. I'm just going to open up all the boxes and probably just put them in those cabinets right there. So let's just get started. That was kind of crazy that was a lot of work to do <laughs> but I ended up putting some down in these cabinets just because they didn't quite fit like perfectly enough <laughs> in those cabinets up there so it's not super organized but I figured throughout the year as I use the curriculum and the materials I'll be able to organize it the best way I can um, so for now that's fine and I'm moving on I'm just going to do a few things around the classroom that are on my to-do list up putting this little pom-pom banner above my name over my desk because originally I had it over there one I just don't really like it two it did make it a little bit more difficult to open the doors so not worth it um but yeah I really like how it looks right there so I listened to a bunch of your guys' advice and a lot of you guys said to get some jumbo push pins for my word wall and then just to hang my words on these instead of doing like hooks or anything like that. So I bought some, they're just from Amazon. I literally typed in jumbo push pins, I'm pretty sure. And uh, yeah, now I'm just gonna go put these up over there. Alright, 
so my word wall is pretty much complete i obviously have words that still need to be hung on here but those words will be hung as the year goes on as my kids are learning so i really like the idea of these because they're easy to just push in and then i will hang a binder ring on it with the words that we've been learning and yeah i really love how that turned out don't forget this entire word wall set is in my tpt if you want to grab it for yourself it is linked down below also, one of the custodians came in and removed my big kidney table, so I love it now because I can really see this whole library area, and it's just really coming together. Um, if you haven't seen my first four classroom setup vlogs, I will have those linked down below, but this um, library was definitely like my summer project, and I love how it turned out. It is definitely an upgrade from my library last year, and I just love how bright and open it is, and it's just really welcoming for the kiddos. So the next thing I think I'm going to do is hang up these um, callback signs or attention getter signs. I just created these myself. Um, they are on my TPT if you would like to grab them, which is linked down below. But yeah, I came up with a few callbacks that I wanted to use this year. Hands on top, that means stop. This will be just to get their attention when they're in the middle of doing anything. Wipe it clean, can't be seen. This will be used when they have their dry erase boards out and I want them to wipe away their boards. In this house, required as a mouse, this one will be for just getting them to quiet down and listen. And then can I get a what what? That one will be used just as like an overall attention getter um, for the entire class. So yeah, I am thinking I'm going to hang these up somewhere up here just so like you can see them. Oh yeah, my poster fell. I need to <laughs> redo those. But um, yeah, I think I'm going to hang them up up here. I'm actually going to be using some Velcro tape for this um, just because this stuff is pretty hardcore, pretty heavy duty, so I know that it will keep it stuck to the wall. guys I kind of went around and just set up some of the tables that I do have I'm going to have more tables um they just haven't put them in my room yet but I just kind of like having these out here so that I can visualize um they're saying that we'll probably only be able to have two kids to a table which is fine um so I'll probably have a table there a table there maybe a table on the carpet table back there um so yeah and then that big table if I'm able to push some of the tables out here, and I'm fine with putting the tables on the carpet because we can't even use the carpet, I honestly might just have them take the carpet out even though it's really cute, but we can't use it, so it's kind of just taking up space. I might have a tall desk like that be kind of like my teacher desk in the back that I can sit at, watch everybody, and that's where I can host some small groups because I do have some stools back here. Um, that usually I use at my kidney table, but I can just have them pull out a stool, maybe just pull up two kids at a time so they can be far away from each other. Um, and I don't know, that's just kind of an idea. That desk will probably not be there. Um, this I'm going to have probably pushed over here at some point, but I have a lot of stuff I still need to go through. That just is having like holding everything that I've been using to hang stuff up, so I'm just keeping it there for now. And I still need to print out labels for these drawers, so I'm just keeping it there for now so that I don't forget. 
that obviously will not stay there either that will probably go in a cabinet or underneath my desk at some point but yeah i honestly think that is all i had to do today um i just didn't have a bunch i really just wanted to get all that curriculum put away because if you know me having stuff out like that I couldn't sleep at night so I really need to come in and just put all that away um, and then I just really wanted to like organize and set the tables out so that I could kind of get like a visual for the room and all that um, but other than that I think that is all I'm going to do today so I will show you guys around one quick time before I leave. all right so I still have um, their cubbies over here I actually have some numbers that are back in here that I want to um, cut out and I'm going to put their student numbers on all these bins but that's a task for another day. All the bulletin boards are pretty much the same besides I put those signs up. Now you can kind of get a feel for what it's going to look like with all the tables. It looks a lot better having that kidney table away because um, you can just kind of see how bright and open the library is. I did hear that a lot of you guys said that I should get some strings to hang from these balloons. So I do plan to do that. Um, I just need to get some string. <laughs> Um, I put away curriculum down there. This is all pretty much the same. I painted this, if I didn't say, and I actually, um, the other day I touched it up with some more paint since I told you guys before that I ran out of paint towards the bottom. So that area is looking pretty good. I'm still not in love with it, but it's looking a lot better than when it started. Obviously, like I said, this stuff will not all be there. Um, put those up today. I'm bringing that red cart home and yeah this is kind of what the rooms looking like so I know that was a pretty short vlog and I definitely didn't have as much stuff to do today as I have on my past few days that I filmed but I am getting towards the end I really don't have a ton left to do I still need to decorate my door um, and I bought some paper for that that I have back at home so I'm planning on doing that maybe next week and I'll film that and I still need to decorate my hallway bulletin board which is really big so I have an idea of what I want to do for it that I'm really excited about and yeah so that is pretty much going to be it for day five of classroom setup don't forget to subscribe down below. I know a lot of you guys watch my videos and you're not subscribed. So if you subscribe, that would really help out my channel and it would let me know that you guys like my videos and want to see more of them. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye.